Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I thought I could show you what I'm taking on holiday with me. I wanna apologize for the lack of eye makeup situation going on. After I film this, I'm actually going to go and get some lashes done. So I'm trying to keep it natural, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I thought I could lay it all out and show you what I'm taking. We're going to Corfu in a couple of days. So I'm so excited, we're only going for a week. I am known to overpack. I always do overpack. I'd rather have I'd rather have it than not have it and then having to make do. Um, so yeah, please let me know if you think I'm missing anything. We're staying in a villa and yeah, so we've got our own pool and stuff like that and there's gonna be fresh towels there and it's like kept nice, like maintenance and stuff. So anyway, I'm just gonna jump in and show you what I'm packing. Okay, so this is it. Sorry about that. <laughs> Currently dealing with lots of washing at the moment. So I thought I could quickly just show you what I'm packing. So I have like skirts, shorts, dresses, culottes, I think that's what they're called, tops, PJs, bikinis, cover up things for like the pool and beach and stuff, shoes, hair and creams and stuff so i'm gonna dive in and just quickly show you what what i'm packing if there's anything that you particularly like here let me know in the comments below and i'll try and remember where it's from but if i'm being honest most of it's actually primark i'm taking this pair of shorts they are like the paper bag style and i just love how they look really and these are from primark nice denim pair they can go with everything I have a pink pair. They look like a bag of shit, to be honest. <laughs> but I have just ironed them, but they're just that's how they're laying. So yeah, a pink pair of the paper bag shorts. Again, Primark. Uh, these are some cycling shorts, like gym shorts. I wear these a lot. And they're just comfortable to wear. I thought I could just wear those with like a little top or something. It's just something easy to throw on. Some high-waisted ripped denim shorts. It wouldn't be a holiday if you weren't taking some high-waisted denim shorts. Some really cute little high-waisted pink ones. These are my sister's. I've stolen them off her because I think these are really cute. This really lovely skirt. I think it comes down to about your shin. And it is just so beautiful. This was Primark last year. I bought it when we went on our honeymoon to the Maldives. And I wore it most days and it is just beautiful i love it so 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 much and this skirt that i've had forever it's just a plain white one or cream now really and i thought i could take that too okay on with the dresses this one is an off the shoulder dress it's a long one basically so it's a lovely long floral yellow dress which i i'm obsessed with again this is primark i bought this last year this is also Primark and I had this, I've had this for years. I wore this when we went to Bali and it just reminds me of Bali every time I see it really. So the chest is like a V style and it's shorter at the front and longer at the back. I'm not showing it very well so I'm having to do it all one handed. But again this dress is one of my favourites and I just love it. This is actually also from Primark. It's a halter neck dress and it's just so beautiful. I think it comes down to about your knees, maybe just above. And it's quite boobalicious as well, which is also a winner. But yeah, I just love this. So this is, again, can you guess, from Primark. And this is a lovely full length denim dress. It might be a bit too thick to wear, to be honest with you, but... If it gets cold in the evenings, then I think this might be okay to wear. Um, I won't lift it up and show you because it's really long, but it's beautiful and I just love it. It's in one of my, I think it's in my latest, yeah, it's in my latest Primark haul. If you want to see what this looks like on, it's really lovely. This is from Topshop and I just love it. It's got a tie around the waist and it's just a plain white dress. It's got some slits in the side and it's just beautiful. Again, this is from Primark. It's just a plain, like a body dress. Really easy to wear on holiday and to pair it with things. I've had this for so long and I just think it's so easy to wear on holiday. And this is from Topshop. It's like a denim dress. And yeah, again, really easy to wear on holiday. I don't usually like wearing blacks on holiday, but I just thought I can't not take this dress. So I just think it's really, really cute. I thought I'd pop you there and I can hold them up. That might be a little bit easier. So on with the culottes. 
definitely not shallots because I said that last time, so no, it's culottes. Um, again, Primark, just love these. And they're just so baggy and just so airy and just perfect to wear on holiday. And I just love this colour as well. So I'm taking those. I'm also taking these lovely pink ones. The tie is not tied up, but you get the drift. They're basically the same style as the green ones, but just in pink. Okay. I'm not sure whether to take these or not. It's about 25 degrees in the during the day, so it's not scorching. I think it drops. I don't know how. I don't know how much it drops, but I heard it does get quite chilly. Um, so I'm taking some jeans. I might wear them. I might not. But if I've got them, I've got them. And again, these are from Primark, and I'm just obsessed with these. I love them so much. It's like mum jeans style. They are so flattering on your bum. They are just the best bum jeans like ever and I just love them they're amazing so I thought they'd be great with like some sandals a little top tucked in something just to throw on basically the tops again I'm just gonna quickly just hold them up this one is a Primark no it's not oh my goodness it's not a Primark one it's a new look one it's just a blue flowery one I only ever wear flowers when I'm on holiday I never wear flowers like ever really this is really really cute this was from primark and it's just a little black crop top thing really cute with a pair of jeans or shorts primark a little multicolored little mini small light top easy to wear primark again off the shoulder i got this a couple of years ago lovely multicolored really cute this is from ASOS. Oh my god, it's not Primark. <laughs> Very tiny. Probably won't wear this, to be honest, but I'm bringing it anyway. We are actually going with my mother-in-law and my father-in-law, so I don't really want to be wearing skimpy stuff. You, do you know what I mean? You know, you, you know what I'm trying to get at. Uh, little plain white top. Really cute with a pair of shorts. That was, oh, hang on, was that Primark? No, that's Topshop. That's the Topshop, baby. This is Primark. Of course, it's Primark. This little V-neck, multicoloured, stripy top. I love a stripy top. I think stripes are so flattering. Again, Primark. This one's got, like, a little ring at the front. It's kind of like a crop top sort of one. It comes just above your belly button. Again, Primark. This is like a burnt orange off the shoulder top. I love this. It's so flattering and just such a beautiful colour and it's lovely with a tan. The sleeves aren't full length. They'll probably go to about where this blouse is really, but I just love this. Really cute. And I've had this top for so long and I just don't wear it, but I thought, wear it. It's a lovely shirt. Take it with you. It's from Topshop and yeah it's off the shoulder it's white and it's got some flowery embroidery here and i just really like it i've had it a long time so I, yeah it's probably not available anymore but so that's all the tops that i'm taking so i'm just going to show you some cover-ups i've literally only got three um i've got some pjs here you don't want to see my pjs i'm literally just taking two pairs of like trousery lighty things to wear with a couple of tops they're super old and just something easy to throw on really i think when you're staying in a hotel um you don't really take that sort of thing but because we're staying in a villa we're going to spend most of our time there so i do need some like comfy slouchy stuff to wear um yeah cover-ups this i don't even know who this belongs to like when me and my mum or my sisters go on holiday we literally all swap clothes and we all help each other out so i don't know who this belongs to it's definitely one of my, it's it's either my mum's or my sister's, I don't know. But it's from New Look and it's just a plain white lacy co cover over really. It's perfect really for when you're really hot at the beach or at the pool and you just need something to like protect your shoulders. Um, so that's the reason why I'm really going to take this. Just in case I get too hot or Ed does. Um, it's just perfect to throw over somebody. I can't remember what website I bought it off from but it was super cheap. I think it was literally a fiver, not even that. Um... And I bought it for my honeymoon when we went away to the Maldives. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it now because I'm obsessed with it. I don't know how I found it. Just search sheer skirt 
bikini cover up thing i'm sure it will come up so this is like a lovely pink silk belt that goes around it and it's just it's see-through and it's just perfect to wear around your waist and just to cover you up and it blows in the wind and it is just it is perfect for a honeymoon like perfect for a honeymoon i doubt i'll wear it when we go away um but i just love it again i don't know who this one belongs to i'm guessing it's either my mum's or my sister's but this one is from primark as well and yeah it's just a plain beach cover-up and yeah i just really really like it i think it's quite flattering and just really pretty so let me show you bikinis i have had so i'll go have some of my coffee because i'm gasping so i've had such a dilemma when it comes to bikinis i've lost weight i've lost quite a lot of weight lately so i want to feel comfortable i also don't want loads of flesh out again going away with my in-laws just a bit of respect really so i'm trying to find the perfect bikini really I usually wear like the spaghetti strap ones, but because I've had a baby, my hips have just got wider and wider and wider. And I feel like the spaghetti straps, they chop you in and they make me look bigger than what I am. And it really gets on my nerves. Because, I work my, I, because I've worked my ass off trying to lose all this weight, I don't want to wear a bikini and feel shit in it. So yeah, I've literally bought a couple of bikinis lately trying to find the perfect one. But I found it. I found the perfect bikini and I'm so over the moon with it. I'll insert a photo of me wearing it because I just, I love this bikini so much. Again, these are all from Primark. So this is the bikini that I've just shown you in the photo. It's just a plain white one with some neon stripes. It's got black, pink and green. Love how thick this part is. And I just think the narrow, the more narrow it is, the more it chops me in and the more it makes me look horrible. I don't like high-waisted bikinis either because, again, they make me look big. I've got that body shape where I really need to be careful what bikinis I wear. And this one does okay on me, so I'm happy with this one. And this is the top. You don't see it in the photo, but it's actually a crossover like this. It's super cute. I'm going to have some really weird funky tan lines, but as long as I'm comfortable in a bikini, I don't really care, to be honest. If I'm feeling chunky and I've had a big lunch, then this baby might come on, to be honest. But again, this is from Primark. It's got a lovely, nice tortoiseshell style ring here, and it's got a lovely slit there. So you wear it up like this, and the ring goes here, and then you see a lot of boobage going on in the centre, which is very flattering. It's quite sexy, but what's sexy it's just a swimming costume you are covered up so i think this is acceptable to wear so yeah this is from primark again like i said and i just think it's quite sweet so i'm bringing it just in case so I'm, i always take my tanned wedges i've had these for years they're probably very dated and not in fashion anymore but i love them and they're just really complete an outfit for me so i'm taking them i will show you in a second um i'm taking my adidas trainers because i'm flying in them um, they're going to be like my travelling shoes. And I've just got two pairs of sandals. And I think that's going to do me fine. The villa is literally 10 minutes away from the restaurants. The the beach. So it's not like I'm going to be walking miles. So the first pair are these snake print ones from Primark again. I usually am a size 4. I did buy a 4 but my feet hung off the edge. I think when you've got massive strappage going on like this. They put, it kind of like pushes your feet out of the edge. So if you're thinking about getting these size up, um, I'm a, I'm, I am a true four, but these are a five and they fit me like a glove. So really do get a bigger size if you want to get these. These were like six quid, I think, in Primark. And I just really, really like them. I don't usually wear snake print, but I like them. Okay, so the next pair, I've had these for year, like I think two years. These are Primark again, but they are so comfortable. It's like wearing slippers and I just love them. And they're just plain white sandals with some white bows on. They probably need a wash to be honest. I might even I might even throw them in the wash before we go because they do look grubby. Do you know what? I think I will. They look awful as I'm looking close. And lastly, here are the wedges. These are from Topshop. Like I said, I've had them at years. Um, I just really like them. They're like a suede tan colour. Again, lovely with the tan. Yeah, 
I just love them and I think they look really lovely with an outfit. So I'm also taking this stunning hat. I've still got the tag on. <laughs> Again from Primark it was, how much was it? It does not say because I took the tag off. Sorry guys, it wasn't expensive. They've got some lovely colours in there but I do love a pink one and I think it will suit my neon bikini i think it'll look quite cute so i'm taking that and i love this bag i had to get a big beach bag because of ed toys stuff like that so this is primark again and i love it so much they've got so many different types of like wickery baskets in there um yeah if i didn't mention it's from primark and they've just got those little balls around the edge and i just love it and it's huge like i feel like i could fit in it it's massive so it's perfect for the beach it's got like a magnetic clip here which is great and i just yeah i love it i'm gonna be using this a lot i've got you back on the handheld one now because i need to show you what else i'm packing like accessory sort of stuff um so i'm taking my straighteners um i don't know if i'll use them but i'm taking them anyway this is from primark again it's a hairband and it just has these lovely ties that come down it's so different and I think it'll look really lovely on holiday and I've got this really cute little headband again Primark I have this black belt which I wear all the time again you guessed it Primark and another black one with like the two rings you probably have seen it around it's quite popular in Primark there it is okay so that's the belts so I'm taking two perfumes, my Chanel Chance and Jimmy Choo. I'm taking some pain relief just in case. We've got some allergy relief. We've got heartburn, indigestion and two lots of paracetamol. I've got two lots of herbal essences. I just love herbal essences when I go on holiday. It always reminds me of holiday because it's so fruity and just really lovely. I've just got a really cheap um, shower gel and I've got another one that I've got in a gift set i think at christmas time two factor 30s sun cream a sun cream a lip balm some silver toner um shampoo i've also got a l'oreal purple shampoo to help keep my hair nice and blonde i've got my tangle teaser uh this bag i'm gonna have all of my makeup in it of course there's no makeup in it yet because i'm still obviously using it but if i'm being honest i'm taking most of my makeup i'm taking lots of lipsticks one eyeshadow palette i'm taking foundation concealer highlight i'm taking most of my makeup to be honest this is manx so i do apologize but inside it's just got like razors some hair bands and a little bit of jewelry i'm just taking some necklaces um just some gold coin necklace that i wear all the time and another pair of gold earrings that's literally it that's all i'm taking i'm also taking this cardi here um again in case it gets chilly and that's the suitcase that i'm taking and i think that is it so that is it that is everything i'm packing on holiday like i said the beach towels are already there i'm probably going to take a handful of bras but that is literally it um I don't think I've forgotten anything. If you think I have, please drop me a comment down below. I do have adapters there in the suitcase already as well because I always forget adapters last minute in the airport. I go, oh my God, we need adapters. This time I remembered. I'm really proud of myself for that. If you want to know what I'm packing for Ed, then check out my video next week because that'll be live then and you can see what I'm packing for him. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.